All right, for a little more perspective on what we saw there at Apex, let's bring in Ariel Hawani and Chell Sun. And Ariel, I'll start with you. And from a fight fan perspective, when I saw that, it was rather disturbing and it was disheartening, quite honestly, to see what happened there. I know you've spoken to officials at the Athletic Commission there in Nevada, as well as uh, Robert Drysdale. What more can you tell us right now in terms of what transpired there? Yeah, and I couldn't agree with you more, Michael. I, I did speak to Robert, uh, who's well-respected in the fight community, longtime BJJ champion and practitioner, former UFC fighter as well. Uh, he told me he has no regrets. He stands by his decision. He has uh, the utmost belief in Max's abilities and feels like he's going to be a future champion and felt like he needed the extra push. And he said that he would want his coach to do the exact same thing to him. So he stands by everything that he did. Now, I also spoke to the executive director of the Nevada State Athletic Commission, Bob Bennett, and uh, he was a little bit troubled by what he saw, and he said that he passed it around to the rest of the commission and uh, hopes that they will speak about this at an upcoming hearing. He couldn't tell me officially tonight that they will address this at an upcoming hearing, but he said uh, that is his hope, and uh, he would like for them to do so. He also wanted to applaud the inspector who called off the fight there at the very end. Joe, as I mentioned, I'm a fight fan, so my perspective is clearly different than yours as a fighter. Uh, what did you make of that? And give us a little insight on what you want from your corner man in that situation. Okay, guys, I think I saw this a little bit differently. In this regard, you had an athlete who in between rounds did not want to participate in the next round. This concluded with said athlete not participating in the next round. Look, I do think that Drysdale does have an argument to make where he goes, look, we've got a minute here. I'm hearing one thing from my athlete. I'm trying to bring him back around. It looked like we didn't get there. We did it his way and we called everything off. I think that this was a little bit uneventful, but overall there is a message here that when an athlete is done, you're not going to bring him back around. Those are words that no combat athlete wants to speak. And once he actually speaks them, you got to listen to him. Stop the fight. And Chell, that is the point that I wanted to follow up with you on because it's one thing if you're working out and your trainer or someone in your camp is trying to push you through some extra reps or try to get you to go an extra round and sparring, that's one thing. But if, I, if a fighter tells you he doesn't want to fight and your corner man is saying, no, we got this, you're going to go back out there, what kind of message is he sending to his fighter? There's pushing, Chell, and then there's pushing too far, no? Yeah, I would fully agree with that. And, and again, just to remind everybody, we didn't continue with the fight, but look, I don't, this was an exhaustion issue, guys. Max was fatigued. Max took this fight on very short notice. I do have a little bit of a fear that uh, this is going to impact Max's career. He's going to go out as somebody that didn't have heart, didn't have the grit. Look, guys, let's not forget, he fought very hard. It was one round apiece. And by the way, he took this on five days' notice. He simply didn't have any energy left. Yes, I do think that the coach needs to know his athlete. And I do think that fatigue is one of those things that's very hard to see. Ariel, I'll finish with you because, again, Drysdale said that he had no problems with what he did. He would do it again. He'd want someone to do the same for him. And quite honestly, we've seen something similar to this multiple times in MMA. As far as the sport is concerned, and maybe even the athletic commission starting to look at it going forward, is this an issue that needs to be addressed in the immediacy? Oh, Michael, it's a massive issue. And quite frankly, I can't believe what I'm hearing out of Chael's mouth. First of all, Max said he wanted out nine times. Nine times, count it, I want out nine times, call it, nine times he said that. You can't be more clear than that. Number one, he was down 0-2 on all three judges' scorecards. In fact, all three judges scored the second round of 10-8 in favor of Austin Hubbard. And number three, it wasn't the coach, it wasn't Robert Drysdale, it wasn't anyone in his corner who called the fight, it was the inspector, it was Nevada who called the fight. So they all deserve all the blame. It's not much ado about nothing, it's a massive problem in our sport because I can guarantee you this, if that was a boxing match, if that was top rack boxing tonight in Mexico, it would have taken one time. For some reason, there is a problem in our sport where fighters are telling their coaches, I want out, and the coaches are saying, no, be a champion, be a warrior. And guess who has to deal with the ramifications? The fighter. Brain damage, injuries, on the shelf for many, many months. It's hard to watch, it's disgusting, and it's a trend that needs to change in this sport because these young fighters are having their careers cut short because for some reason or another, these coaches don't want to listen to the fighter. If you're not in there to protect your fighter, what are you doing there? Chael? I would just say this. This was not apples to apples to what we saw with the Anthony Smith fight, which I believe is the comparison that Ariel is trying to make in one regard, which is he did not want to no. continue, and ultimately he did not continue. That's all that I'm offering that is different than Anthony Smith, who went two more rounds and got bludgeons, including uh, losing his teeth. I think that it's a little bit different. I'll leave it at that.
Well, it is an issue that clearly Nevada State Athletic Commission will be looking at going forward because of all the attention we believe this particular incident will get over the next few days. Ariel Hawani, Chell Sonnen, thanks for hanging out with us here on SportsCenter.